Hello, it's Sarah. And tonight I wanted to show you guys something that Joe and I created on the Glowforge. It's this little uh, dream catcher. I have a big one, but it won't be able to be in the shot. But uh, in my room, my bedroom, I, ha I hung three of my mandalas um, over the bed. And then I'm going to put two dream catchers between the three mandalas. And we, this is the first time we tried doing it with the different wood types. So most of the, so this is one. These are, like I painted this with a little bit of gold. Like I'm going to do this. And I was using, um, like, not raffia. I can never think of it. Just twine or something. But anyway, I thought, it's just not working. I need chain. So I went to Michael's. Like I had to wait to the next day. And I went and got this chain, and I love it. It's kind, it's a little, like, rose goldish. It's probably called bronze. And we used all the different types of woods we had. So I think this is cherry. But they're both, this is cherry, too. So they're a little different. Cherry, red oak, maple, and walnut. And then... The pattern is from Etsy. So I ordered a pattern packet, an SVG file, um, for like two bucks, I think. And I got about, I want to say there was 10 different uh, shapes, different mandala shapes, and there was a moon and a sun. So I decided to use them. So I'm going to show you how I made this. But here, I'm going to take this out of the shot and show you the big one because I have to probably get different jump rings because, and I mean, now I could probably, we could cut another one, but this is a whole big piece of cherry. So this is at least, I think this is 10 inches. And then I glued on different bling to this because when you cut it, it has these little circle things. So I just glued on bling. It needed to have some bling. Um, but yeah, so maybe if we would have moved the holes down a teens, I could have fit the smaller jump rings on there. And this just happened to be the jump rings that I bought with the chain. I got this at Michael's. Uh, uh, beads Landing, right? So they were pretty close in color. So I, I think it's, and I don't think this is considered gold. I think there's another color that's more on the gold side. Let's see. I don't really have any. Anywho, um, I just didn't want silver. I don't know. Something about the wood tones told me to use gold, and I love how it turned out. The only thing, like I said about it, is I think I need to find an in-between size jump ring because these are way too big. I mean, it doesn't really look that bad once it's hanging up. But they're super big, and I, I just don't think it looks right. And the only reason I had to do that is because these littler ones couldn't go in the hole and then hook onto the chain. It didn't fit. So, like I said, either we'll have to move the holes, because we could move the holes. Joe did that for me um, on a different thing. So, anyway, that's the, the good stuff is... You know, even though it's an SVG pattern, like the pattern for the leaves, and I call them leaves. I have to turn the fan on. I'm having a hot flash, I think. OMG. So, the pattern for the feathers, like it came in a certain size, but then we shrunk them down to whatever size we wanted. And basically, we just laid it out um, on the like computer and I think we did pretty good proportion wise like it looks pretty good and we could even add another hole and I think for these size the little ones I think I am going to have another hole put on and then we could have one more two more I'm sorry two more rows of feathers which I love and there are other different there's different um, types of feathers and different types of these middle things as well on the um, SVG. Also, I thought that I could get, so I went and I dug out all my beads and my bling and stuff, but that's not, I wanted to show you this. Because I have like these kind of beads, so why couldn't I put these in the middle too? You know, like here's, these are other um, feathers. I don't know why I always call feathers 
leaves. This is just some silver chain. I had clearance, guys, $1.99. So I did pull what I had, and then I had this, which I thought was cool too, blue and green. Like, I don't know, but it, it didn't turn out this time, but what if I wanted to like paint some and I painted it teal like I love these chains so because I got these for two bucks anywho anywho for today what I wanted to share was so when it comes I've already peeled this one but when it comes out of the glow forge the wood is covered with oops I, I spoiled the surprise it's covered with um like uh what would it be called masking tape and that's because if you look at this it it cuts with a laser a laser beam an actual laser beam so it gets super hot so you just it'll burn the paper instead of the wood so then after it's all cut you peel off the masking tape and it's perfect now this is the red oak so pretty and this is the red oak little thing this is walnut I believe so I'm just going to peel that and then I'm going to just show you one other thing that I figured out. So this is kind of trial and error. Um, we, had, we just bought some cork, some little cork coasters and I'm going to make sets of those with the slogans on it, the Al-Anon slogans which I love. They're so good you guys. They help so much. Okay, so I'm going to line these up. And then I'm going to show you what, um, how, what I figured out. Okay, so I got this chain, and I love this color. It's so gorge. And luckily, these are a pretty thick gauge jump ring as well. And this is because if I go on Etsy, I can actually um, choose jump rings that are this the right millimeter size but also it's the gauge of the wire this is super thick and it looks pretty but it was almost too thick because of the chain so oops so let me I'm just gonna cut a few pieces first and I'm gonna talk about that first but anyway luckily it fits but I, I almost had to get a thinner so a smaller wire size is what I mean but luckily they work so here's what I did when I designed this. I just did, um, I'm pretty sure, one inch and one inch. So these two. So here, I'm going to do it the exact same way I did this one. So I'll demonstrate on here. So I cut the chain first. One inch here, and then I made two inches in the center. And then one inch and two inch. And then it just kind of alternated enough so that it could hang straight, but they didn't bump into each other you know what I'm saying and then even if I did two more holes I could still do so I would do a two inch again and then they would hang alternating so I just think it would look so pretty and something about the chain really adds to it for me okay but then I discovered and realized that okay so I'm gonna just measure this I'm gonna go a little long I have these, I don't know if this is called a shank cutter or if it's just a wire cutter, but I'm gonna cut it here, just randomly. Hopefully I won't, but here's what you need to know about this. That because it's a, uh, what kind of chain would that be called? This is just, it doesn't say, but I'm gonna explain it to you. So I'm gonna open the jump ring and I'm gonna put it in and I'm going to put on this and I'm going to close it. But I, oh, that's the wrong one. Um, what I had to change about it was, I can't, I need, I can't see anymore. Like, whew, that is hard to see. Um, okay, so here's the thing you need to know. The chain goes like, the, it's like one of those chains that you make um, a paper chain when I put them on my Christmas tree. So one chain goes like this, and then one goes like that. And then the next one goes like this, and the next one goes like that. So if I want them to hang straight, like in other words, I want it to go flat, right? There's a chance that I would have put the jump ring in the one above it, and it would have hung like this. 
So it has to go this, this, this. You have to go opposite, 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 opposite. And this even counts as like an opposite. So this link, the jump ring then counts as the next link in the chain in a way. And then I need this to go flat. So, all right. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. But, so I'm going to look at this. I still want it to be about an inch long. And it is going to... Jump ring has to go like this. Yep, so I have to cut it. And I'm going to go in... This one. So I'm going to cut. So I actually just wasted a little bit. And it's because I'm on camera. Because I am rushing. And I want you to be able to kind of a little bit see what I'm doing. Which you can't really see see what I'm doing. And some chains do come with um, like a split ring link so that you can just split them. You don't have to cut them. But uh, this one I don't believe is like that and it might be but I haven't looked that closely. So I'm putting this in here. I'm going to open it and I'm going to put the jump ring on here. And then I'm going to put a feather and I'm doing the same color feather to the same color um, middle. I was going to alternate, and I think, on oh, my big one, nope, I kept them the same. But, I mean, there's no nothing stopping me from mixing up all the different ones. Like, I could go oak, maple, whatever, and then whatever, oak, maple. You know what I mean? That, if that made sense, I don't know. All right, so let's see if this works. So, in other words, yes. It had to, the chain has to go, like, this has to be facing this way. If it's facing this way, it would just hang like that. So that, that was the only li little learning curve, the tiniest little learning curve. So again, I want an inch worth of um, chain. So approximately, I'm going to try and, um, you know what, let me just put the jump ring on there first so that I can kind of, I don't know why. Uh, let me put the uh, yeah, I'll put it on here. Sorry. I'm doing it different than I did the first one, but it doesn't really matter. I know where I'm headed. Right? Right. All right. So, beautiful. Oh, my God, it's so gorgeous. I don't... I don't think the camera can do it justice like in person. It's such a pretty... The wood tones are so pretty. And then the chain color. I really hit it out of the park. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, so I need this next one to be... You know what's kind of neat? I think every other link is plain patterned. Plain patterned. So that... Oh no. They're, they're all patterned. Alright. Sorry. My bad. So let's go this way, and I need it to go straight, and I'm going to cut this one. And I want to say these are like, these links are very small. They're like, mm, they're like an eighth of an inch long, but still, it's not going to make that much of a difference when I, um, attach it to that that you'll notice the difference on the actual uh, the dangle of each feather if you know what I'm saying anyway I'm tired <laughs> it's been a long day but I just wanted to do this real quick because even though um, I can't make my second one for my bedroom I wanted to finish both of these so let's go with wait yes this can go on the end and because the wood is oh, it's on both sides, there's not a front and the back. See, I did it. Yay, look how gorgeous that looks. Oh, sorry. I just love it. So, basically, that's what I'm going to do. That was the only little glitch in my design. After I did it, I just did it so quick. And then when I held it up, some things were kind of um, hanging the wrong way. Uh... So I'm going to do a two inch section for this one. Let's just go this way. And another two inch. 
I close my eyes when I do that because I know I could fling myself in the eye. Um, going to go ahead and open the jump ring. So it's a little time consuming, but boy, once you're done, you're done. So I was thinking that like, actually, if I sold little pieces of, like if I could sell kits, right? And uh, you guys can make them, but I don't know, like that's something that like I'm not too sure about yet because uh, wait a minute, I have to think, make sure this is, um, nope, I got to cut this last one off. Um, it would definitely save me putting, putting them together, right? Like if I'm selling them, if I just sold the kits and then people put them together at home, I think it would be, well, it probably wouldn't be that much of a difference for shipping because I could just fold it up. Like it would fit in a box pretty good. But it would be like, you could kind of make it either silver and gold, or maybe I could include that stuff too. But you know, then I'm telling you, that guys, this stuff becomes my job instead of just making happy things for myself, what I like. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I need that other two piece of chain, two inch piece of chain. I attach it. Actually, this way that I'm doing it, cutting the chain after I add the jump ring is much better because the jump ring makes the chain go the right direction automatically and then I can just snip it off and be done like so this isn't taking me long at all I just have to look up and see that it is I think we're good I can put the jump ring right on here and so anyway, the other thing I ordered, an SVG. So an SVG is just a vectorized, I think they're the same kinds of patterns. Some people, like I've been looking on YouTube for uh, other people who have glow forges and what they make and stuff like that, they use a silhouette or like a... Oh. All right, sorry about that. My camera just shut off, so I don't even know where I was. Um, I'm here. This is where I'm at. And I'm pretty much done, but I wanted to share too that I ordered some acrylic. Uh, acrylic is gorgeous, you guys. Um, have a look at some YouTube channels that do like acrylic jewelry or acrylic whatever. Um, it comes, it's, it's just, it reminds me of stained glass, obviously, you know, it's the same principles basically right I mean and uh, why did I close that because I need to put something on it the uh, I need to go this I ordered another SVG off of Etsy and it's the mandala no 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 the chakra symbols right so I don't have my chakra bracelet on but you know how chakra has like red orange yellow green blue, indigo, violet, I think, are the colors of the chakra. And the chakra are your, the sensor points, or it's kind of like where your lymph nodes line up in your body. It's to keep you in alignment. Anyway, I have a book about it, and um, I'm just checking this chain. So I can't wait to get the acrylic because I'm going to make the little chakra symbols, right? And then maybe I'll use the bigger jump rings, these, because I think I have a lot left, to connect them. I can connect the chakra with these, or I can maybe, if I do them smaller, but I was even thinking I could hang it in my car, like from the rear view mirror. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Now we did order the stuff from Etsy. I keep saying Etsy, but yes, in this case we did order from Etsy. I'm just seeing if, nope, I need to cut this off. Um, I ordered the SVGs from Etsy and I ordered the wood and the acrylic from Etsy because we ordered more wood and um, so it's going to be good. Hopefully I didn't just muck that up because I'm talking. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be playing a little more and I haven't forgotten about you guys. I still want to do a giveaway. Maybe I'll give away some mandalas or I mean not mandalas but um, 
some of these uh, dream catchers. Sorry, I can't think and do crafts at the same time, evidently. Uh, I'm also, I was telling you guys this when I my camera wasn't on, but there's a little dot on here that I'm going to put just some self-sticking. I think I'm going to use blue for this one. I used white on my sun because I didn't have any yellow. I really would have liked to use yellow, but they're just the self-sticking. Like on my big one, I actually glued them on with Gorilla Glue, but I didn't have any yellow for the sun, which maybe I will change that. But for the moon, I could, white would probably look really good on the moon, but I was also thinking of blue. Like I have these really pretty blue. I think I'm going to use these. And they're just the self-sticking because I went through my stash. I have so much stuff, you guys, so it always makes me happy. Yeah, and there's lots of different sizes here. It always makes me happy when I can use something from my stash. And they stick pretty good if I just gently, oops, give it a press. And I say that. But yeah, that's, that's on there. So I'm going to do that. Aren't these cute? Do you love them? And then how I got this to hang was I just put a small jump ring and then the big jump ring on top for like a little hanger. And I'm just going to hang it from, I don't know what. But um, yeah, so I'm going to put some more of these. This is like a bigger one. So maybe I'll put this bigger one here. I think that's a little big actually. And this is a little fudgy, like, you know, I don't really need to do this on camera. But, so yeah, I did, haven't forgotten about the giveaway. Um, let me know what you think, you guys. And if you're new to my channel, I don't make videos all the time. But I tend to make them when I'm very excited about something. So this is something new. And because it's easy, Joe can just like print out stuff off the, you know, it's like a printer, you know, it's like, like a cricket basically, but for wood. <clears throat> we were going to do a phone stand or something, so I'm still thinking that. But what do you guys usually, when there's a giveaway, how, do the, how does it work? Like, how do you know who wins, you know? Like, I have to have you put a, put a, um comment in the comments and then I know that there's like some type of a random draw thing so I'll figure it out you know who knows that I could ask is Lolly do you guys know who Lolly is Lolly Palooza she has a uh, oopsie where'd it go she has a craft channel and um I know she would know she's my little advisor for um stuff like that but yeah if you haven't already you should subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think because I love that type of stuff I remember when I first started doing YouTube <clears throat> which is oh my gosh it's like seven years my mom passed away in 2012 and it's already 2020 it's probably like eight years OMG because it was shortly after she passed that I decided to do it because I got addicted to watching videos and <clears throat> I have a frog <clears throat> but look how cute that turned out OMG I should put a piece of white paper <clears throat> I don't have any white paper but I have this I don't know if you can see it It's blue pearls, and this one has white pearls. So cute. Anywho, let me know what you think, okay? I'm sorry that, I don't know, my, my battery ran out. This was kind of just a quickie video I wanted to do for you guys to let you know. Uh, we're still playing, so I'm not really making anything right now. Actually, oh, I just posted um, a video about about painting because I'm going to be teaching on creative innovations in painting the the Facebook page so check that out and I'm gonna use this as a hanger because I just think it's cute I love the color of these jump rings 
go like that. I put a big one and boom. And you know what? You can make crafting your serenity too. It's been mine for a long time, way before I did YouTube videos. And it is, I thought I was escaping my life by, by crafting all the time, but turns out it was self-love. And we have to do that to recharge our batteries and to, you know, to help us when we're stressed out. But look how cute they are. I just love the chain. So I'm going to keep playing, and I hope you guys do too. Thanks for watching.